Hello everyone, it's Matt from Akuma Mods back again today to show you a little how-to when you're getting your 3D printer up and ready. So right now we had built this printer, this is a GTEC A10, it's very similar to the Ender 3. It's my preferred uh, go-to printer for beginners, but the Ender 3 will work just as well. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to level your bed right out of the box. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over to prepare <clears throat> and we're going to preheat both the hot end and the bed and we're going to preheat it as PLA. Now I've already done this, but you can go ahead and preheat it. Okay. And then once it's up to temperature should be around 190 and then 60 for the bed, uh, you go ahead and go back into your menu and you go and auto home. Okay, so now we're auto homed. So now we're, we're good. With this printer, um, we actually have a, a, a leveling corners set up. Uh, some printers may not do that, so all we have to do is just do disable steppers and we'll just move it manually. But since we have the level corner feature, we're just gonna use that. What you're going to need is a sheet of A4 paper, just regular old paper, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the left-hand corner because that's where it should start. We're going to go ahead and hit level corner. Again, if, it's, uh, if you don't have that level option, just hit disable motor or disable steppers, whatever it says, disable motor steppers. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and automatically put it underneath the front left corner and you're just basically gonna go around each and every corner. So as you can see, this paper is running very, very smoothly underneath this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to turn the knob under the bed to raise it up. And we're gonna start feel some tension. So you see how I can't move it as fast, okay? You want a little bit of tension, but not too much. You don't want it to where you can't move the paper because that means you're too squished. So we're pretty good right here. It's, it's got a good amount of tension on it. We're gonna go ahead and go to the next corner. <clears throat> and we're gonna do the same exact thing on this corner. Now, this one's a little tricky to get to, but let's see if I could get my fat fingers in here. Okay, so we're starting to feel some tension again. Okay, so a little too much tension. I wanna have just enough to where it feels like it's scraping it. Like, kinda like nails on a chalkboard type thing. Okay, a little too much on that. That seems pretty good. And then what we're gonna do, <clears throat> we're going to level all the corners here, and then we're gonna go back around two more times and do that to make sure that we are properly leveled. You can go even three times. Two should be more than enough on top of this. So three times total. All right, so a little bit of a drag, okay. We're gonna go back to the next corner. And again, you just when you're doing this with the uh, disabled steppers, you're gonna do it manually. So this is why we go and we double check, because now look, we leveled all the corners, but now if I go back to this front corner, it's no bueno. This is gonna be, this is gonna cause that extruder to start popping. So when you guys hear that, that popping sound, normally what that means is you're too close to the bed, which is causing the nozzle to clog because there's not enough filament coming out. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, lower this bed so we can get a little bit of tension underneath it. Okay. And we're gonna do the same. Most likely it's gonna be tight on this end too. Okay, so that one's okay. We can probably fine tune it just a little bit. Okay. 
So it looks like our front corner is a little higher than normal. Okay, so our back corner is really high, or close to the bed, I should say. So we're gonna turn that bed down. That's a little too much. Okay. And now you can see there's nothing going on in this back level. So now we need to raise the, the bed up a little bit higher so we can get that squish. Okay, and we're gonna go around one last time. Just double check everything. And again, you can go around one, one more time if you really, really want to. So this was a little bit tight. Okay. That one's good. That one's pretty good. I think we'll live with that one. That one seems good. <clears throat> and we'll go back to the front. That one will just adjust just there. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all you have to do, so... Um, yeah, I would, uh, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them uh, in the comments below. But for the most part, that's all we have to do to go ahead and get our printer up and running so we can go ahead and start printing a uh, print on it and have it properly level. Now, you can also fine tune when you are uh, printing as well. So if you see one side is a little more squished than the other, you can automatically um, adjust those knobs if need be. But for the most part, this should get you set up and ready to go for your first print right out of the box. Um, so, again, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them below. And uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like. And uh, don't forget to share it out. And uh, until next time, guys, happy printing.